Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my full coverage foundation routine and this video has been sponsored by L'Oreal Paris New Zealand. This collaboration is something I'm like super super excited about because I am pretty small here on YouTube so I am just really excited to have an opportunity like this already like it does kind of blow my mind a bit um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to making this video I hope you guys enjoy it please let me know what you think and let's get straight into it <laughs> okay so I usually only wear full coverage when I'm going clubbing that's basically the only time that I actually wear like a thick layer of makeup on top of my face. I do have pretty good skin, like I'm not gonna act like I'm acne prone and stuff because honestly I don't really get pimples and stuff. Um, so for me, I usually wear full coverage just when I want my base to look like absolutely flawless. During the day and stuff, I do like my skin to look more natural, but when I'm going out clubbing and all that, um, I always go for like a thicker foundation and stuff just because I want my makeup to last. And so to start off with, I'm gonna prime my face using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mattifying Base. And as a primer, it's just going to help my makeup last all day and also like my foundation application and stuff just to go on a whole lot smoother. For my foundation, I'm going in with the Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation by L'Oreal. I like to take this on a Real Techniques beauty sponge. But often I just squeeze like that much onto my sponge. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face. Now this foundation is a matte finish, which is what I always go for when I go out. Just because I hate it when you're like taking photos and stuff, and like you're wearing a jewelry foundation and you end up just looking sweaty. That's like my biggest like fear whenever the club photos are released. <laughs> now my preference is to use a sponge, but like that's totally up to you. If I'm not using a sponge, I'll be using like a flat top kabuki brush or something like that, just so that the foundation blends out really even but I find sponges work better because they don't leave streak marks on your face. Now this foundation is definitely a medium coverage, but you can build it up to a full coverage. I tend to sort of leave it more as medium just because I do like to put other products on my face, like concealer and stuff, and like, I find that if I put too much foundation on and stuff, <laughs> foundation, if I put too much foundation on to begin with, then I do end up looking cakey, and I do find there's a difference between full coverage makeup and cakey makeup, but if you do have like acne prone skin or like discoloration and you really do want to cover it up, like just add more product, just build it up as you need to, and yeah, then you can definitely get like a full coverage out of this foundation. Next, I'm just going in with my infallible concealer. And I'm just going to put that right in my dark circles. I don't really have any blemishes or anything at the moment, so I don't need a spot conceal. A really good tip is to conceal sort of that inner corner um, of your eyes as well. It's pretty common to get like a bit of blurriness there, and so concealing there really does brighten up your eyes a lot. Now that I've concealed my dark circles, I'm just going to highlight the other high features of my face using the Infallible Sculpt by L'Oreal. This is a cream to powder product, so I do like to use it before I've set the rest of my face. I'm also going to use the contouring side of this palette just to carve out my cheekbones. I'm going to contour around my forehead as well. I'm just blending this out using an ambled, <laughs> an ambled, and an angled kabuki brush. But that's all blended out and I'm nice and contoured. I am going to go in with the Infallible Powder Foundation. As this is a powder foundation, you can wear it on its own for a more like natural sort of look. I like to wear it on top of my liquid foundations just because it does add more coverage and it also just further mattifies my face. I love the L'Oreal Infallible Powder just because I can bring it with me like whenever I go to town and stuff. It's a really good touch up product because you've got like the powder in this little bit there. And you have a sponge as well sitting in there with a mirror. So you can like go to town, like say any of your makeup like is rubbing off because you're just like tearing it up on the dance floor. All you need to do is use your sponge to get a bit of product and you can like use the mirror and stuff and just like touch up where you need to. I love that, I think that's awesome. So yeah, I'm just going to set my face using this. So for my bronzer, I'm tossing it up between these two here. I think what I'll do is I think I'm gonna use this for bronzer and then this one, there's like a bit of like a lighter shade there that I think you're meant to mix the bronzer in 
with, but I might use that to highlight my face. So to give my face some warmth, I'm gonna go in with the Glam Bronze La Terra Face and Body Sun Powder by L'Oreal. I'm just gonna use this sort of like, just on top of my cheekbones, um, just to give my face like a bit of like a sun-kissed glow. Um, I am gonna make sure I'm tapping off the excess product just because with bronzer, it's always best to build it up and start off with less and build up as you need to. I'm just going to put some warmth around my forehead. And at the same time, I'm like brushing my baby hairs away. <laughs> Makeup tactics. Now that I'm nice and bronzed, I'm going in with this L'Oreal blush in the shade Soft Rosy. So now going in with that Glam Bronze palette that I showed earlier, this one's in the shade Blonde Harmony. I'm just going to take this pale shade here, and I'm going to use that to highlight my cheekbone. And someone's decided to ride their motorbike. Right as I'm filming. Now that's all my face products done, but I always say that you can't have a flawless face without flawless brows. So excuse me for one sec while I quickly pop off camera and put some brows on, um, and then we will finish off the look. So before I move on to lips, I am just going to finish off the eyes. Um, I'm just going in with the L'Oreal False Lash Wings Mascara, um, and I'm just going to put that on my lower lashes as I do have eyelash extensions at the moment. To finish off the look, I'm just going in with this L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lipstick. Um, this is in the shade 001 Silencio. And now finally, just to set my face, I'm going in with the Infallible Fixing Spray. And so it does just set all the products into your face more and it also makes the makeup last way longer. So that does conclude today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is my full coverage foundation routine. And honestly, it feels so lightweight on the skin and stuff. It does not feel like you're wearing cakey makeup. It doesn't look cakey. And if you aren't comfortable with wearing this much makeup, then honestly, it's your choice. You don't have to, okay? This is my face. This is how I like to wear my makeup when I go out. And I really, really love how this look turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.